It is 524 right now. There has been a major breakthrough for people with cystic fibrosis. The FDA has approved a new therapy that targets the underlying cause of the rare and life-threatening disease. WMAR 2 News' Abby Isaacs spoke with a local cystic fibrosis patient and also an internationally known researcher at Johns Hopkins who's been trying to make CF stand for Cure Found. I was diagnosed at three months old, so having cystic fibrosis is all I've ever known. Baltimore's Jeff Breslin is one of 70,000 people living with CF, a rare and life-threatening disease that damages the lungs and digestive system with no cure. When I was 12 years old, the life expectancy was 36. So now I sit here at 37 years old and you know, there's no conversation around life expectancy because of drugs like the one that was just announced. And that uh, drug is a three drug combination which treats the underlying cause of cystic fibrosis um, for the most common type of cystic fibrosis. When you see something tangible, when you see a pill that literally is addressing the underlying reason for the disease versus just the symptoms, you start to say that, okay, we really could cure this thing. The FDA says clinical trials show dramatic improvements for patients, like a 10 to 15% increase in lung function. We think that eventually uh, over 90% of people with cystic fibrosis will benefit from this therapy and uh, has potential to extend life by years and years. Making it a bittersweet day for Breslin. It's really hard not to get emotional thinking about what this is, not just for us, you know, those of us with CF, but you know, there are far too many that never saw this day. There's also a percentage of, of those of us with CF that, that won't be helped for this because we're not there yet for them. The price tag is also $311,000 a year, and what insurance will cover is a big question. But Breslin says with the help from doctors and the CF Foundation, he's very hopeful it will soon be helping him. I'm pretty sure myself and the other 90% are going to fight like hell to make sure we can get it. That is Abby Isaacs reporting. And again, that drug therapy has been approved for patients 12 and older. Trials are still going on for younger children, ages 6 to 11. It could work and be safe for them, too. That data is expected next year. You heard the price tag for that drug in Abby's story, more than $300,000 a year.